The letter I have received, which you've got a copy of, um, I received from DIPTI. Um, and while it doesn't give us any precise dates and time frames, I have had discussions uh, with um, the CEO of DIPTI, also our local member for Finnis, Davis Basham, and also with the Minister's office around these ongoing suspensions. And I think Council needs to be prepared for um, uh, probably a length of time where the causeway will continue to um, be off limits to the horse tram due to the weight of it until those interim repairs are put in place and we need to put provisions in place to how we manage that in terms of advising our community and working with our staff and also with the ongoing establishment of the horse tram authority. We have the minister is coming here tomorrow to meet with me directly to give us further advice about their attention that they are giving this um, and I have advised the media of that. I'm obviously not going to give them the time that he's coming, but he is giving it his full attention, but it is going to take some time to fix. So at the, without that, uh, any further ado, I'm happy to take any questions, um, but the correspondence is to state that we will not know what those ongoing interim repairs will be until another 10 days, and then it will take some time for those repairs to be made. And um, is that a confidential? No. I just want to pick up on something uh, written in um, page 9 where the um, deputy is uh, looking for attendant documentations for de design and development for options for a long term solution and then the next line of 40 plus years subject to funding availability design and delivery of a permanent solution could take up to two years. I just wonder if the council agrees with me whether we should try and explain to the minister that we would prefer to have a permanent solution first time round, but um, what the logistics of that are, or you know, whatever, I'm not sure, but that's certainly my opinion. Spend a whole heap of money on a 40 year period and then spend a whole heap of money in two years on something else doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. Perhaps Victoria could answer that. I did seek clarification when I received this correspondence because I actually emailed back the CEO and I um, particularly questioned the letter that I felt didn't give me a lot of answers. So um, I read it in that they are either looking for a long-term solution for refurbishment, which would give the current causeway a 40-year life or an alternative option. But um, I am happy to be guided by the council if the council wants to look for a permanent solution in a shorter period of time <coughs> and resolves that way, I'm happy to advise the minister when I meet with him tomorrow. Um, the discussions have been is there are two options. It's either a refurbishment of the existing causeway or we build a new one. We need to show leadership as a council and ask for something that takes this community and, and our heritage and our facilities here into the next 100, 150 years in my mind. And doing a fix up for 40 years isn't responsible. It's a, it's a waste of money. Um, I'll, I'll be uh, looking for pushing and, and taking the opportunity or, take, or pressuring to have it completely replaced. Yeah, um, yeah Brian's basically said what um, I have said. Absolutely, we need to move into the 21st century and um, get a uh, proper structure built. Um, in the meantime, um, the uh, operations of the horse drawn tram and so on need to be kept going so um, one of the costs of, um, of doing that is that the deputy will have to uh, you know, do what they can to prop up the uh, causeway in the meantime but uh, we're definitely pushing for the earliest possible uh, permanent structure as Brian says that we can be proud of for the Just a question uh, for Victoria. Uh, in regards to so they say the subject of funding availability, um, on with your discussions, was that just in relation to looking at a permanent solution, or was that something that they were leaning towards more doing that 40 plus years because there wasn't that funding available for a long term permanent solution? My understanding is they're looking at funding availability for that long term solution. Again, um, the conversations I've had with Dipti, and it's not with the engineer, it's with the CEO, so he's interpreting an engineer's assessment so far. Um, you could only probably expect, if they were to refurbish the existing one, 
they're saying they could only probably get a 40 year life out of it. It's 150 years old already. So um, either options would require funding. Um, the interim repairs um, doesn't, to my knowledge. They will need to expend funds now. No, the, the favourite video shot of Victor Harbour that you see, whether it's a two down under or it's on the Channel 7 Sunrise or any other time from now, and probably on our own website, is the overhead shot of the island, the causeway, Victor Harbour, the pine, pine trees, the bluff, and a speedboat flying along. And it's really liberating. You wouldn't know that the damn causeway was here or you not, except for the fact that it's got some white rails across the top. It looks a bit like it could be a very, very narrow racetrack. It's beautiful, it's scenic, it's, it's picturesque. People want to perhaps come to Victor and check it out and walk across to that island. I can't see what's left of that causeway that is heritage. It's been repaired time and time again. It can be duplicated, it can be made to look heritage again. I think we're here. I believe we're, we'll be here a week or two too early for this meeting, or at least a day too early, because the minister's coming down tomorrow, and we would know more after the minister's meeting. Uh, here we are just noting and uh, receiving what we already received by email in the main. I want to see what they're proposing. You know, I, I've seen, and we probably all have, the Brighton Jetty, which is just a concrete structure. Uh, it can be made to, you know, from that distance in the air, my point is it really doesn't matter. It's just going to be serviceable. That's the most important thing. Will we have something beside what's already there? Will it take the same angle? Uh, will, it, will it go from a different point? To a different, well, obviously we're not going to relay the tracks, but I mean, will it this, will it that? We really don't have enough, I don't have enough information. I want to see some plans. The whole strong tram itself is, is part of our heritage here. It's quite unique. And so uh, we really need to ensure that it continues to operate, but operate safely and that the best way to do that may be around new structure. Um, my only other question is slightly off beam a little bit, but given that we don't know the length of time that the tram operations will be suspended and that is a loss of income, is there any possibility of compensation from the state government to cover those, those losses? Within the first 12 months of the previous council, we were um, having discussions around the condition of the causeway and how it was looking pretty miserable and trying to draw the state government's attention to it. It would have been nice if the state government had come back to us with some of these ideas three years ago. Uh, just mainly a question, Mayor Jenkins, um, on the two and a half ton uh, limit uh, by vehicles. Uh, I understand that would be roughly a uh, heavy four wheel drive style of vehicle. Um, what's in place in provisions uh, to ensure that nothing bigger than a four wheel drive around the two and a half tons, maybe a truck or a light truck going over to the island to collect uh, refuse, rubbish, or whatever, or doing something. Because if they are concerned with the engineering reports that you can't have no more than two and a half tons, what, uh, what's in place to ensure that it's not exceeded? Um, yes, that's correct. So the, the boom gate has specific key access. Only those um, permitted vehicles um, have access. They have also all been directly notified of what they can and can't take over. We've also contacted Frawa. They previously had a five tonne limit that has been reduced. Uh, so the motion is that the council advise the minister that their preference is for the replacement of the existing causeway as the longer term solution within the next 12 to 24 months. Those people in favour of that motion. That's unanimous. Thank you very much. South Coast Television. Your community, your voice.